sure that's her. Yeah, have a look. <coughs> yeah. Local pickpocketer. Floats about the local areas. Wants to threat a big target like London. So she's not going to have much of a motive then? Well, Dad died in a gambling debt. Every penny he owed, she ended up paying back. Well, then she'll be up for it. She's on board. Right, let's go. Positions, two minutes. So, what if I told you I could make you a lot of money? Uh, okay, but why me? Why not? You obviously know the three rules of grifting. Rule one, never con an honest man. You're able to identify me as a mark. Rule two, we take a mark that wants something for nothing and give them nothing for something. And rule three comes with practice. Always have a plan B for your plan B. Okay, but I've got one question. What's in it for you? Why would grifters of your level be around a girl like me. You see, it actually goes back a bit further. We knew your mother, Celine. She actually taught me and Alex the art of grifting. So, how much do you really know about your mother? <laughs> Simply died in a car crash, or that's what my father told me. But the thing is, Scott, there's actually more to the story than that. The mother was in possession of a very expensive diamond, and she intended to use it to raise you. But there was a break-in at your house. A Russian diamond thief called Ivan Belik threatened to kill you. Your mother didn't have a choice but to give him the diamond. Then, afterwards, she disappeared off to Vegas and we never saw her again. And that's how your mother really died. That's a lot of information to take in. You just thought you deserved to know the truth. Listen, let's go somewhere a bit quieter so we can discuss the plan a bit better. Scarlet, we need you to get us into Bellic Manor. Once you're in, send Alex all the lock codes, alarms, and CCTV fingerprint scans. You'll be entering through the east wing, and we'll be coming in through the top floor. Now, there will be a guard patrolling the area, and Ted's going to have to take care of that. I'm going to try and access the fingerprint scanners so I can hack into the main jewel room. No, no, that won't work. We won't be able to get to the cameras until we've cracked the first few codes. All right then, in that case, we'll wait for the three second window. There's a blind spot on the other side. Scarlett, this time you have to come in from the left wing so we can crack the main alarm system. Pressure pads all around the diamond and some on the floor. The lasers are from there to there. Once you go near them, we will to turn them off for 10 seconds. We'll grab the diamond and go. Sorry about your situation. I won't let them get away. Where's my team? You have to understand, sir, this is a very delicate situation. We intend to handle this case carefully. If you cooperate, then we can definitely solve this theft. 
Sir, your tea. The crooks have left details. I suggest that we arrange a meeting in order to buy back the diamonds. Tomorrow, me and you arrange a meeting. Take my diamond, you give me back my diamond. But, but you're dead. I didn't drink the whiskey. You abandoned us, and all for this. Give me back my diamond. You want your diamond, you can have your diamond. No, no. I almost didn't believe your letter. How long? Four years. Then why the return? Look, Ted, I'm sorry. I should have told you. You know the man who tried to kill me? Ivan Belik. Scarlet's father. Listen. I'm gonna get Scarlet back. And I'm gonna get that diamond back as well. No, it's too risky. Nothing's too risky. If we play it right, Carl will have the right intentions. Don't worry about it. Me and Alex will find her. We'll tell her what we need to. And hopefully, she'll do it. A Russian diamond collector called Ivan Belik broke into your house and threatened to kill you if she didn't hand the diamond over. Ted, I've got a bird's eye view of the Belik Manor now. The cooks have left details. I suggest that we arrange a meeting in order to buy back the diamond. Let me set up the crew. Mr. Bennett? I'm going to be around in an hour to wire you up. See you then. Mr. Bennett, the station sent me to set you up. No. You got the cash? You should mark bills, Mr. Bennett. You don't want them scoundrels getting all your cash now, do you? 